Welcome to this pre-algebra tutorial on operations with decimals. By the end of this tutorial, you will, be, you will be able to add, multiply, subtract, divide, and do integer operations with decimals. Operations with decimals follow the same rules as operations with integers. So we use the same addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division rules that we would use with integers. Let's look at a first addition example. If I take 7.7 .7 plus 9.3, you probably do this on your calculator so that you will come up with 17.0 or just 17. Uh, the point is, when I combine two decimals that have the same sign, I add the absolute value and I bring down the common sign. In this case, the common sign was positive. So I bring down a positive sign, but when I have one number, I don't write the positive sign. I just write the number itself. So 7 plus 7.7 7 .7 plus 9.3 equals 17. Let's look at another example. And you try this one. Let's take 14.4 plus 1.25. Okay, feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. If you pause the video and you came up with, this is what you said, this is the process you should go through. You should say, okay, I'm, I'm going to use the same process with addition of integers, where integers are, I have two integers of the same sign. I take that, I add the absolute value of the numbers and I bring down the common sign. So that equals a plus, I have a common sign of plus, Add the absolute values, that gives me 15.65. I drop the plus sign and I have just 15.65. If you said that, then you were correct. So let's look at subtraction of decimals. We're going to use the same rules that we use for subtraction of integers. Uh, so let's take a look at the example. Negative 6.3 plus 4.5. Okay, so with uh, with these two, I'm going to look at I have opposite signs, so I take the difference of the absolute value, and I bring down the sign of the larger number. So the sign of the larger number is 6.3. So I'm going to bring down that negative. Uh, the difference is uh, 1.8. And so that's my answer. Negative 6.3 plus a positive 4.5 gives me a, a negative 1.8. Let's look at another example. I'll take 6.1 minus 1.87. So I can see my sign is going to be an, a positive because the larger number is positive. I'm going to take the difference. I'm going to do this in my head. 6.1 minus 1.87. That's going to give me a 4.24. 4.24. I'm going to drop the positive. That's going to give me just 4.24. So pause the video and try this one. I have 3.72 minus 4.8, 4.58. 3.72 minus 4.58. Okay, if you pause the video and you said, and this was your thought process, you said, okay, I have a larger number that's negative. I have different signs, so I know I'm going to have to take the difference in the absolute value. Okay, so 4.58 minus 3.72, that's going to give me a 0. Point, is it 0. 0.82. 0. 0.86. Okay, try one more example. I'm going to take 2.36. Minus 1.23. Pause the video. If your thought process was, okay, I have opposite signs, so I'm going to have, I'm going to bring down the sign of the larger. And I'm going to take the difference of the absolute value, so 2.36 minus 1.23, that's just 1.13. I'm going to drop the positive sign, so that equals just 1.13. 
So let's look at multiplication with decimals. Let's look at an example. I have 4.8, a negative 4.8 times 0 0.2. Okay, so this is my thought process. When I multiply a negative and a positive, I'm going to get a negative. And 4.8 times 0 0.2, I just multiply those together. I can do it by this one. I can probably do it in my head, but calculator is okay. That's going to give me a 0 0.96. And so that's your answer. Try this one. I have a negative 2.03. Pause the video and try this one. I have a, one point, a negative 1.66. If your thought process was, I have a negative and a negative, when I have the same signs, my answer is positive when I'm multiplying. So I'm going to do this on the calculator. I came up with a 3.3698. I'm going to round that off to two digits because I had two digits on these. So that's going to give me a 3.3698. This is greater than 5, so that's going to be 7. 3.37 is the answer. So now let's look at division with decimals. We're going to use the same integer op operations that we use with division of integers. So we have a negative 0 .0, 0 0.63 divided by 0 0.9. Okay, my thought process is this. Um, I have a negative times a divided by a, a positive. That's going to give me a negative. 0 0.63 divided by 0 0.9 gives me a 0 0.7. So I have a negative 0 0.7. You try this one. Pause the video and try the following example. 34.1 divided by a negative 5.5. If you went through the thought process and you said a positive divided by a negative is a negative, and on a calculator that comes out to be a negative 6.2. So now let's solve equations involving decimals. We're going to use the same process of, as we did with inter, uh, integers the same rules apply. We have an example x plus 8.4 equals 3.7. Okay, so I can add the opposite. I want to I want to solve for x, so I want to add the opposite. To both sides. So on this side it cancels. I have just x when the 8.4 is canceled. That equals 3.7. Well, okay, so now I have to use uh, um, integers with different signs. I have different signs, so I bring down the sign of the larger. That's going to give me a 4.7. So the answer is a negative 4.7. So feel free to pause the video and try this example yourself. I have A, the letter A plus 2.8 equals 2.29. Okay, if your thought process was, you're going to add the opposite over here to get A by itself. You said A plus 2.8 minus 2.8. Same on the other side. We have to Add it on this side, minus 2.8. So these two cancel. And so now A equals, okay, when you went to the right side, 2.8 is larger than 2.2. Okay, so it looks like, it looks the other way around, but 2.8 is larger than 2.2 because the 8 is larger than the 2. So I'm going to take the sign of the larger when I'm adding integers, and I'm going to take the difference of the absolute value. So uh, that's just going to be a point. Looks like a point, a 0 0.51.
got. That's what I got. 0 0.51. So now we move on to the division of, of equations with the decimals. If I look at the first equation, z over 6.9 equals a negative 2. Okay, so this is my thought process. I, I remember back that uh, when I have division of integers, I use the same rule. I can multiply the, I can do the opposite by multiplying uh, by 6.9 on both sides. I'm going to do negative 2 times 6.9. These cancel on that side, so that's easy. I'm left with z. But what do I have here? 2 times 6.9, I think that's 13.8. Okay, and now I'm multiplying a positive and a negative. That's going to be a negative. When I have different signs, the answer is negative when I'm multiplying or dividing. If I have same signs, the signs are positive. You try the following example. I'm going to take, pause the video, I have m over 0 0.4 equals 0 0.8. Okay. So, let me erase this equal sign. If you said you're going to do the opposite, and that is multiply by 0 0.4 on both sides, these cancel. I have M. Okay, I have same signs here, so I know that's going to be a positive. 0.4 times 0.8, I know it's 32. Oh, that's going to be a 0 0.32. I have two digits behind the decimal, so I have two digits here. So let's recap. What did we learn? We learned that the operations with decimals follow the same rules as the operations with integers. So for addition, I'm just going to run down through these examples. For addition, when we have uh, same signs, we bring down the common sign and add the absolute values of the numbers. For subtraction, we bring down the sign of the larger number, as we did in this first, uh, first uh, problem. We brought down the sign of the 6.3. Since it was larger, it's negative, and uh, we take the difference of the absolute value. When it comes to multiplication, if we multiply different signs, we come up with a negative. So a positive negative is a negative, a negative positive is a negative, and we just multiply the numbers together. And for division, same rules as for multiplication. A negative times a positive, positive times a negative is a negative, and we just um, divide the numbers as we would with integers. And equate in equations, we use the same rules as equation with integers. We can add the opposite to isolate the x, get the x by itself. And then on the right side, if you look at this first equation, on the right side, when we added two different signs, we take the sign of the larger and, and take the difference in the absolute value of the two numbers. So this is a two st more of a two-step equation where we had to take... Uh, but you just take one step at a time, so really it's a two one-step equation. Same thing with the last example. And so that's what we learned. And that's going to conclude this lesson on decimals and decimal op operations. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Please like, subscribe, share, support.